right now, you guys are looking through my bagger for my Troy built mower. See how you can see right through it? See the sunlight? That is really, 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 really super important because if you can't see through it, air can't go through it. If air can't go through it, then it's not going to vacuum up your clippings and pass it into the bag. You see, the grass goes in, the air goes in, the air comes out, the grass stays in. That's, if your bagger is not working really good, take it, hold it, and with good water pressure and soap, even soap, so it acts as a surfactant and loosens the dirt. Blow it from the outside to blow it out with water, okay? Get it all nice, let it dry, and then use it next weekend. It'll be like a new machine. It'll work much better results, okay? So if you can't see through it, air can't go through it, and if air can't go through it, grass ain't gonna pass into it. You got me? All right, so why do I bag and when? You see these weeds? You see these sand spurs right here? You see those crazy weeds? See all this? If you mulch that, then you're putting all that right back down into the ground. You're putting all of those weed seeds right back into the grass to create more weeds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bag up this entire yard, this cut and next cut. And we're going to apply weed and feed at the end of this cut. But we're not gonna do that on video because I'm not a licensed applicator. So don't believe everything you hear on YouTube. But I'm going to apply uh, weed and feed um, to my customer's property here once I bag this up. Next time I cut, I'll bag it again. These weeds will be gone. There'll be no, no nothing. None of that crap. Okay? So, old boy's going to get on the mower as soon as he gets here. Um, he's running late, but it's okay. I know he's running late. So while I get all this ready, let's check in on Dan, running man Dan, and see how he's making out. But what he's got going on the first thing we're going to do here hedges you're going to go bushes, for bushes, a bushes. run for the saint jude children's research hospital charity that i am uh sponsoring which is the main sponsor for the rock and roll savannah marathon november 4th and 5th um this year 2017. i've pledged one thousand dollars so my channel is going to make one thousand dollars if i have to pay for it myself or if it can come from you guys and i really hope it comes from you guys. I did my part. I paid my $100 registration fee. It's actually like 80 something dollars plus $13, $13 in fees. Um, I don't know what the fees are. We do have a new device to talk about. Um, you guys remember I, I would wear the Garmin Edge on my wrist. Um, that big bulky Garmin Edge. Ooh, where's the sun? There we go. I went out and I bought this. That is the Garmin Forerunner 35. And it gives you your regular time and date, so it's a regular watch. It also syncs to your watch, to your uh, phone. So if you get a message on your phone, a text message, a phone call, or whatever, it shows here. You can scroll through it and see. You don't have to look at your phone to see what the text says, to see what maybe the weather alert is. Um, there's no reason to look at your phone. It tells you it all right here, but you do need your phone to respond. Um, if somebody's calling you, you can, you can see who's calling you and hit Bluetooth and be talking. Um, it'll tell me my, my miles, my speed, it tells me my heart rate, it's monitoring my heart rate right now. And it syncs to your phone, so it sends it all to your phone. I don't really care about that. What I care about is how far did I run, how long did I run, and what's my average speed. I kind of like those three things. That's really it. Um, it also does cycling, um, cardio, so it, it does a whole bunch of things that you can do with this. Um, it was $200. It's got like a stretchy band and it's, it's, really, it's really nice, it's sleek. It's not as big and bulky as that other one and I can wear it at all times and it's a watch. We'll put a little music on and we'll go for a run. Waiting for it to connect to the satellite. There it goes.
remember back in the old days, they used to have hedge trimmers that were one-sided, and then they had a shield. So as you were cutting, you could take the shield and scoop your clippings onto the ground. Now they do this double-bladed, newfangled shit, and you end up with clippings all over your, your, your shit. Why do they always improve on things that don't need improving? Remember guys, we trim the bushes first, then we'll edge, then we weed eat, directional weed eating, pull the clippings out, I'll blow the clippings onto the grass, oh boy, we'll bag it all up. I want this one to get a little bit bigger to match the other one we just did. See? It needs to get taller, so I'm not going to overdo it. Yo! <laughs> He's back! He's still alive! articulating head right see so you could like do way low you could do like way high fully articulated One mile, 834 pace, 97 calorie, 140 beats per minute. That's probably right, 140 beats per minute. I'm pretty winded. Let me take you guys back to that lawn mowing video. I'm gonna go get another mile and I'll check in with you. What I ended up doing is I blew it all out already. See all the clippings? Ready for him to bag all this shit up. 
So, he's here bagging. Well, I gotta show him. Okay, he got it. And I did my bushes. I'm actually castellating these. I want them to be like a castle. So that's the height they're gonna be. Now they just need to fill in. And I'm gonna blow this out, put it here, and he could bag that up. So let me get that squirt away. Let's get back to Dan, see if uh, running man Dan, see if he made it over to uh, Andy's yet. And um, I'm gonna get all this ready for him and then we'll be back and we'll go ahead and video that mower bagging all this up right here so you guys can see how it works, all right? So, cool, here's Dan, running man Dan, and I'll be right back. Five calories burned, 148 beats per minute, 1655 total, 2.08 miles. We just passed the Army APFT for all age groups in their two mile run. Just hit three miles. It says we did 305 calories based on my height and weight that I programmed it with. Three miles, uh, eight minute, three second pace, 305 calories, 153 beats per minute. 24.33 total time. Semper Fi, do or die. Any of you Marines out there, you jarheads want to tell me how I'm doing. For the Marine physical tra training test, you let me know in the comments below. 24 minutes and 33 seconds, three miles, 3.05 miles. Right behind me is Andy's Law Machinery. Let's go touch the door. Give a little blessing to uh, Steve over here at Andy, Andy's and all the uh, all the awesome lawn guys in Savannah, Richmond Hill, Cooler that come and visit this store. Give him business. Remember, this is the shop when Hurricane Matthew came through. They had no power, no air conditioning in summer, and they were open with a generator taking sales trying to uh, help people get chainsaws and tools to clean up their yards, to help Pike, to help all the contractors, and to help get Savannah, Pooler, Richmond Hill, Thunderbolt, Heidi, help get everybody cleaned up and back in shape. Three miles in, halfway home. So we're gonna go down here and uh, see if we can find any friends. All right guys, so we're back now. Old boy's about to cut my neighbor's yard. We got it prepped, he's bagging, he went ahead, I blew all that out and he bagged it all up. So he got all the weeds, all the little, the weed seeds, he got the clippings, so no raking, and he was able to take the, the clippings and put it in the backyard um, where my dogs dig. So we'll go ahead now and uh, put the camera on him. While he bags, you guys can just watch some uh, old boy bagging videos. He's emptying that bag. We'll shoot back over to see what Running Man Dan's up to, and then we'll be right back. That's a problem with bagging, though, that cannot be unnoticed. Loss of time. Having to put it somewhere. We are four miles in. 818 pace. How about that? 818. Wait, 154 beats per minute. 
33 minutes, four miles in, 818 pace, 418 calories, 154 beats per minute. Not bad. As you can see, you can stop and pause and all that, but we're at Grady's Flea Market, who's not quite set up yet. This is a place that um, me and my girlfriend were gonna come to one of these weekends, but my girlfriend we recently broke up with me. I don't know, whatever. She called me a narcissist. <laughs> whatever, enough about her. Let's talk about me. Right down that road there, all the way down and through the back, there's gonna be about 100 cyclists coming up this road. And they're gonna cross here and they go to the elementary school down there. I'll go bike or I'll go run the route that they're gonna come through on their bike and see if they can catch me. giant vacuum sucks it all up nice up. When he gets to the edge here, he needs to lift his front wheels up to suck it in. Otherwise, it's coming out here and gets blown out. Watch this. That he doesn't know, you know. You got to teach people. If you if you lift up the front end, it'll suck it in. about a third. He got about a third of the front yard done here and he had to empty it again so he should be able to finish it though because it's not as thick and there's no clippings down there. Now he's getting into the good stuff. The weed.
I don't want to spread that. I want to pick it up. I want that vacuumed up off the yard. don't look bad at all does it and the good part is it's all vacuumed up that is where I like the bag when I have stuff like that lots of clippings to pick up or a lot of weeds to worry about I'm trying to get a hold of the weeds that's a great opportunity to use your bag attachment and suck that shit up other than that ain't happening now the problem that we have with this area is the neighbor The neighbor doesn't really do much with weed and feed or anything like that. And the wind's always coming from the west here. And they never bag. So all their cut weeds, all their little seeds go into this neighbor's yard. That's why it's a battle for her. But I don't know. Let me finish up these two yards. I'll give you guys a final product. Let me check with uh, Dan the Running Man real fast and see if he found his friends. And uh, we'll be back to show you some more yards today. 6.49 miles, 840 pace, 721 calories, 156 beats per minute, 56 minutes, 6.5 miles. I wonder if I'm going to be able to find any of my friends. Whoa! Look at this! Hi guys! Hey! Here comes the fourth group. I told you, there's like hundreds of them. right there at that light let's get a smoothie and take it to the house we are uh, in the middle of blowing off now so let me go ahead and give him a chance to get caught up we'll go check on running man Dan I'll show you guys this finished product just as I promised eight miles one hour 12 minutes 26 pace right now because we're walking um, I'm just not pausing it anymore because I don't care I'm not running a race but you guys get the gist of it. We got eight miles in, so my calves are tightening up significantly. And while I'm doing this, um, this run, on the other side, I'm also mowing lawns. So my, my running me is going, oh crap, how am I gonna mow lawns today? <laughs> and uh, I guess sometimes you just gotta not be afraid to ask for help, right? So have somebody help me mow give them a little extra dollars and uh, make my side hustle a little bit easier on me help me get through it so that way I don't rush I don't skip things everything gets done that needs to get done it is a holiday weekend so it's kind of important we get everybody done so I'll shoot it over back to Dan cutting grass that'll be it and uh, I gotta well I'll let my side hustle Dan tell you about the, uh, the future video coming up this weekend too all right I'll see you later Thank you for running with me. All right, all right, all right, all right. He's getting it with that run, huh? Them bikers are freaking awesome. But uh, we're back to side hustle now, so the yard is done. Bagged up. Bushes are trimmed, shaped, blown out, bagged up. So, like I said, a time and a place, guys. That's how I do it. Doesn't mean it's the right way. Doesn't mean it's the only way. Doesn't mean it's the best way. It's just the way I do it. That's why I do it. I believe mulching is better than bagging, but there is a time to bag. And I also agree that over mulching can cause too many problems. Um, but the money that you can save a customer by not charging for the time that it takes to bag, you know, you can then every year or two years dethatch their lawn and charge them for that and make a few dollars. You know? Oh, I wanted to show you. That mine are done too. Bushes trimmed. Little European cafe things going on. I got to get some hanging flowers, but I just haven't. I've been too busy. And we got the castle going on there. Trying to. 
Um, so that's that. All right, let's go. We got some more to do, so we'll uh, get this done. So you guys are probably saying, Dan, why do you have help for your side hustle? Well, guys, swallow your pride sometimes. Sometimes you need it. Um, I worked 62 hours this week. Um, a little bit less hours than normal. Normally I'm 65 to 70. And then, you know, I want to come out here and I want to mow some yards. I love mowing yards now and, and I really want to mow yards. Um, and I want to do videos and I, I want to produce a product, lawn care. And I want to make people happy with the service, you know. And I want to make cool videos and I want to do cool edits and I want to run. And there's lots of things that I want to do. So having a helper for today makes that possible you know if, if if I was like no way I'm keeping all the money and no way I'm not gonna have old boy come back or train somebody or no way this no way that and start beating my chest then what's gonna end up happening is my customers are the ones that are gonna suffer because you know we went out we did we did like what eight and a half miles today something like that and I mean I'm tired I mean, that's a lot to do, you know, especially working 60 something hours. We had three days of solid rain. It was a stressful week. Um, and Monday's a holiday, but we're not off. We're working like a half a day, uh, maybe less. And, you know, it's like if I did like five yards today and, and five yards tomorrow, I don't have any weekend. And I'm really, really tired. And what's gonna happen is my lawn customers are gonna be the ones that pay the price because I'm gonna get skimpy. So you make a phone call, you have somebody jump in, you throw in some money to mow, you know, he's gonna make some cash to mow. I'll take a little bit of less cash, but my customers will be happy. The videos will be done. The running got accomplished. And, and I still have a good chunk of change coming in and I don't have to work tomorrow. So that's, um, that's why we did this. You know, and um, and I might do it more often, especially as the summer comes. But I need to get going because, oh boy, all I did is edge and he's already done mowing. So I need to get on the weed eater so he can start blowing and then we need to go. We got two done. This one's number three. I'll show you this when we're done. Um, when we tighten it up with the blower, I'll show you guys the finished product here. And then uh, we'll move on to uh, lawn number four for the day. Not bad, huh? We got it. We got it done. Um... So that's number three. He's finishing up, blowing off real quick. Nice summer months. Everything's looking nice and green, thick and lush and plush. That 21 inch mower's kicking ass. $385 I think I paid for that, or $369 or $379 I paid for that. Uh, and it went, when did I buy that? I bought that in 2015. And it cut all of 2016, including right here. I'll put the link right here for two men and a mower. It did 100 yards in 10 days. Um, and we just did some minor things to it. I got maintenance videos that show you guys how I changed the front end. I put new wheels on it, new belt, new pulley. I mean, that mower's gone through hell, man. It's still going. And it's doing a great job. And I mean, he mowed this yard. With a 21 inch mower as fast as I could weed eat an edge. And he's blowing. So, can't complain. The unit, the combi unit ended up taking a dump. So here's what happened. First, the edger, I had to put a new, um, a new thing in here. Luckily I had a spare. So this plastic piece broke. The, that part right there that would hold it in broke and got stuck inside here so I had to work it out and then when I got it out the weed eater the, the line for the weed eater the head wouldn't stay in and it kept popping off and springing so I don't have time to mess with it so I went and got my FS100 Oh, and that flew off, I guess, because uh, old boy just found it. So yeah, I went to my house and went and got the FS100 so I can uh, continue mission. So let me show you what we got here. Number four, done. Did the bushes, backyard.
So there we go. So that's four done. Now we're going to go do the group of three that are together. And then, uh, and then we got three down the end of my street to do. Um, but like I said, I'm, I want to try to save something for a review video I'm doing tomorrow morning, hopefully. So, old boy didn't make it. Uh, he was cutting that backyard and just about passed out. Customer had to open her back door and yell at him, hey, because he was uh, a little wobbly. So, ice cream truck drove by, so I bought him an ice cream. He sat in the shade for a little while, and I just sent him home in his car. So, yeah. So, here we go. I'll, uh, I'll finish up these three. I got that one finish mode and edge. They're all edged. The bushes are trimmed. That whole yard is cut. So I got to mow this backyard, front yard, front yard, backyard, and then weed eat them all. And then I have three down at the end of my street, but it's already almost three in the afternoon. So we'll just call it quits after these three and I'll get my buddy's mower um, when he gets home tonight and we're gonna do a review on that mower and I'll use it to mow those yards tomorrow kind of sucks I man. I was hoping to not have to work tomorrow, but It's all right safety first. He wasn't making it. So let's get these done and uh, Get done with our day one two three Cut edged and trimmed. I just gotta blow them off but the battery on my camera is dying because of the heat in my truck. I, I forgot to crack my windows. And oh boy, I'm tired, guys. I am tired. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna blow these off and then um, pack it in tomorrow. I got a lot of editing to do tomorrow, so hopefully we're gonna do a pretty cool video here. I'm gonna try to um, do that review of the Xmark 21 tomorrow. I just saw my buddy just drove by and stop he had a um, issue a lot of oil coming out of his exhaust and he can't start it the pull cord stuck so he's like did I lock my engine up and I was like no uh, for whatever reason the, your read or something in the two cycle I'm not exactly sure how it works but something's allowing the fuel from the fuel tank to push through the carburetor and it filled up his cylinder it's hydro locked so I was like just go take your spark plug out pull it a few times so it probably needs to vent, it probably needs to clean the uh, cap and it needs to be able to vent from the heat. And then he has his stuff, he doesn't have his weed eaters up and down like I used to make sure my carburetor was always on an angle up and his are laying down so that's not good either. But Alright guys, let me finish this up and then uh, we'll call it quits Saturday night. Happy Memorial Day everybody, tomorrow I'll be working on edits and uh, three yards and uh, a review and we'll get that review up uh, as soon as I possibly can all right appreciate you guys very much don't make fun of my hat